How do we encourage students to recognize how many objects are in a small group without counting? I am Lynn Rule, a primary teacher for 36 years and now the math consultant for MathRack. Quick image activities enhance subitizing and is critical in the number sense journey. When doing quick images, children will be able to see and name how many objects are in a small group. The different colors and embedded five structure of the math rack helps children build mental images of numbers. The activity emphasizes cardinality, spatial relationships, and overall number sense. Remember, white to right for the starting position. To do quick images with your students, briefly display an arrangement of beads and then cover it up to give children time to think about it. Then ask them how many they saw and why they think that number is correct. Show the images long enough to allow children to see the beads and groups of five, but not long enough for them to count the beads individually. This time constraint encourages children who are counting each bead to shift strategies that are more efficient. Depending on the children's abilities, begin with images less than five, then maybe three through six on one row of the math rack, and then seven through nine on two rows. Let's see a quick image activity in action. You know what we're going to work on? We're going to work on making quick images. Now, I am going to show you. I know. I'm going to push some beads over, and some are going to be hiding under the blanket, but I'm going to cover them up quick so you have to see how many there are. Are you ready? You know, because we've done this before. Yes, okay, are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Get ready. You have to say it Shh. Show me with your fingers. Show me with your fingers. Yeah, she has got it. How many do you are? Four. Four. Now, if there's four over here, how many are hiding under the blanket, Xavier? Six. How did you know that? Because I used my fingers to get one down, and 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 I put it in, and there was one down. That and that, that um, there are six. Okay, how many are red under here? If there's four here, how many red are under here? One. One. And how many are white? Five. Let's see if he's right. Ready? Is he right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Let's try it on one. Easy. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready, Mom? How many? London. Which is one three? How many all together? All of them. All of them over here. We learned it. Remember? Seven. seven. Does she have seven? Yeah. Five, six, seven. So if there's seven here, London, how many are hiding under the blanket? Who can help her? Ashlyn. Um, How many are under the blanket? Seven here. How many under the blanket? Five. No. You agree? Xavier, what do you think? Three. Three. How did you get three? Because I because because no one saw me because I because because I did the number. Seven. And, 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 and I saw it. How many fingers are down? Let's see if he's right. Ready? One, two, three. Is he right? Yes. yes. So what do we just do? What do we call these? Quick images. images. As you may have noticed, Janine modifies her lessons to meet the needs of her students, just like you can do in your classroom. When using the Math Rack activity cards, you will see that there are 13 quick image cards that are labeled QI 1 through 13. The cards are in a progression earliest mathematician to the more advanced. Mastering five would be done first. The cards are to give a teacher, parent, or aide direction to teach the task of quick images. Each card can be differentiated to meet children's needs. You can download these activities free or purchase the MathRack activity cards online at mathrack.com.